Good morning. We've been having our little videos together since April. And that was just when the trees were starting to bud out and green shoots were showing in nature around us after a long winter. Spring was here and it was exciting and new and change was everywhere. And we were encouraging ourselves to keep our eyes open for how we would spot the divine working in the world. Well, believe it or not, maybe you've seen it too. In driving around town and even in my own backyard, I'm starting to see the leaves turn. They're starting to get a, a lighter shade of green and in some cases a hint of red and orange already. We're headed for fall. A lot has happened during these months. And it's been great to spend them together to kind of jog our memory and awareness to make sure that we're seeing where God is active. Growth is slow. Change is often fast. It feels like it jolts us from one reality into the other. But nature is such a great example for us. Nature doesn't just drop its leaves immediately on the first day of fall. It's a slow, gradual process. And the work of the divine in our lives is exactly the same process. That's why using nature as our guide and as our model and helping us see what's coming is so smart. Prayer is a lot like that. Our relationship with God we feel like we've spent time in isolation with the divine in ways that we never have before. Quiet, walks, introspection, maybe journaling. And it feels like nothing's happening, like nothing's different. And yet, because prayer and relationship is so immediate, it's so close to us, it's hard to get an objective perspective. It's only when we look back over our shoulder to see where we were and where we are that we start to see the progress. Think about relationships that really mean something to you, loving relationships that are on a good footing. You don't often stop and talk about the relationship itself. You're in the middle of it. You're enjoying it. It's too close. It's too immediate. It's too intimate. It's only in stepping back in, in looking back over what we have, sometimes when we've lost it, that we see where we stand in the first place. With prayer, with God, sometimes it feels agonizingly slow. Why aren't I feeling like I'm closer to God than when I first started in this pandemic in isolation six months ago? A lot of that's God's work. We know that. But a lot of it is only obvious in retrospect. So I think a smart thing for us to do, me too today, is to look back and see, where have I begun? Where was I in my relationship with God in these last months? And do I see a change? Do I notice something that tells me that God's been active even when I don't feel like I see any track record or any evidence of that activity. The hand of God works in slow, mysterious ways. And saints and scripture scholars and holy people will tell us that. Don't be too impatient. Track the footprints of God in your life over these last six months. Do you see anything different? Tiny little signs of change stick with it. There's growth. You know there's growth. You are in no way the same person as you were six months ago. Spend a little time giving yourself credit and seeing what else God has to share that's just around the corner.